Hey guys, I'm out here at Flares. I got two big tanks of diesel. I'm gonna show you what these are for in a minute, so stay tuned. set these down and kind of tell you guys a little bit what's been going on. Winter hit really fast here. It's like 14 degrees outside. So this is in the garage and we use this as a staging area, but because we don't have garage doors yet, I had Eugenio come in and I had him tarp off each garage and then he even built me a nice little uh, temporary door to come through. So check out our hardware. It's a little bungee cord. So we hinge it from the outside and then we get closed in here, start working. We have a little twisting deal. I think we need to work on that because once you're inside, got the door locked, guys can't get in. So I gotta rethink that, talk to Eugenio. As we wake our way down, we've got all the tile in the garage here. We even brought some of the materials outside in because if it's gonna snow, and um, we're hoping if it starts to warm up a little bit, I need to start getting more dirt outside to raise the grade so we can start get ready for a driveway. But because it's been 14 degrees for two weeks, the ground's frozen and you cannot pour concrete on top of frozen ground. So let's hope we get a break there. We still have Macy's tub in the garage. We're uh, probably gonna be moving that in here pretty soon because the tile guys, I'm waiting for them to show up here this morning. Uh, once we get the tile floors in, then we'll make a video and see what effort it's gonna to take to get this 700 pound tub into the master bathroom. But let me show you upstairs why I'm bringing this diesel fuel because I gotta heat the upstairs man cave. The main house is all being heated by the existing furnaces, but because the man cave is running off these mini splits, we do not have those units installed yet. So I have to bring in temporary heat to keep the drywallers working. So that's where I'm gonna be going now. Oh, here's another door Eugenio made for me. Keep the heat from coming up with the cold air from upstairs. So the cold air coming up from the garage. So we're above the garage now. And uh, whew, those are heavy. So I have this temporary heater that you just plug it in, but it needs fuel. So it can either take diesel or kerosene, like I said. So last thing I need is for this thing to run out of fuel and then the guys quit working. So I brought plenty of diesel fuel. So once the drywall's done and sanded and everything, the dirt and the mess is out of the way, then we'll come back and install these mini splits. It's another benefit that we do not have them installed right now because supplemental heat is a way that we don't have to wear and tear the existing heating and cooling systems because there's a lot of fine dust and particles that gets in there which will age the units faster than they should. So look at that, it's cold in here. I better get this heater turned on so I can call my drywall guys, get them back here because they will not show up until they know there's heat upstairs. So a little bit of a prima donna, but I can't blame them. They can't work when it's cold. So I'll get this fired up, get it warmed up, and then they should be coming up here and finish taping Flair's man cave. So I'm bringing in pieces of drywall to create a little pad for my diesel fuel. I don't want it spilling on his floor. So let me show you how we, you can see this has been, been used a bunch. So we just gotta plug it into power. Here's my gas tank. It's already full. There's a little meter on it right here. Uh, you adjust the thermostat to the temperature we want the room to be. Hit the on switch. And you just straddle that thing, catch your. Yeah, yeah it's the right. <laughs> just blow a hole in your pants. Woo -wee. That feels good. We even have some of these that are three times the size, but this is not a very big room, so we're using our smaller one upstairs, and it doesn't burn as much fuel. So. We'll see how long it takes to warm this room up. It should be maybe an hour at the most. But man, it feels good on my toes. I want to show you since we're up in Flair's man cave is that trash chute. I'm real excited about this. I know it's going to be widely used, well received. So here's the door again. I've been trying to protect it. We've got all the metal tin flashing put in. So all this will do once we get her all drywalled. Sits there nice and flush. And uh, you open her up. Matter of fact, I might throw some drywall down there and see how she, how she performs. These guys left a mess. I'll just start helping them out here with a few chunks. Oh, that one's attached. All right, here she goes. 
Oh, let's just try this. Watch out below. I think it worked. Okay, now we got the upstairs getting heated. Let me take you inside and show you what's going on there. Okay, so in a nice warm house. So what's been started on the inside is the tile guys. This is the laundry room and we've got a brick pattern a tile. Looks like brick on the floor. You can see we even drew a pattern on the wall so these guys know which way to lay the tile. They could have laid it the other way, but we had a meeting with Macy and I did write that on the wall to make sure everybody knows what's going on. We don't want any do-overs at this stage. So we also have some stuff going on outside. I'll show you in a little bit. We got the railings put on, but let me take you to other parts of the house and show you what other tile work has taken place. All right, guys, I'm making my way into Ma Andrew Macy's master bedroom, but in the master bathroom, we've started a prepping for tile, but I wanted to show you this blue stuff. This is a membrane they put down. It has like little rubber, it's like a, it's a plastic, and it's, um, this is allows the tile, so if the floor flexes or moves, this will also prevent the tile from cracking. But it does another thing. We're going to be wrapping wires in here because they've decided to heat the floors in their bathroom. So this has all been laid down. I'll take you in there and show you that. And we're prepping that first. All the, all the blue has been put down. Then the wires will go down, and I've already located where the switch will be for that. We always put that in the master stool area so it's out of the way. But uh, let's take you inside and show you what this looks like all installed. Zeus here is getting ready with his guys. They got the floors all swept up, and here's the wire that you'll start here and work your way out, right? So yeah, yes. we're in the stool, the master bath, so when the door opens up, the switch for it will be behind the door. It's nothing really to look at. You typically just set the thermostat where you want it and then let it be. So, hey Zeus, you got this wire. We'll lay down in between and you'll that's right. feed it. Make sure we don't want to waste any under the cabinets, right? Yeah, that's so true. we stay, yeah. this wire stay only there. goes so many square feet. I think it's 120, 120 square, 120, 120 square yeah. feet. This room might be a little bigger than that, but still we can heat the floors because there's no need to run that wire under the cabinets or also like under the under the tub what have you toilet, yeah. and, or under the toilet so that's what he's going to be doing so all right well i'll let get out of your way and let you get going we're going to uh kind of watch and see how this all comes together but don't forget we got a 700 pound tub that goes over there oh yeah, that's yeah. Right. so yeah. when you get all done we uh i might need your help moving that in all right you feeling strong oh, right? not, not today not today, <laughs> not, not, not today. <laughs> nobody wants to carry the tub <laughs> It'll be just be all by myself. <laughs> okay guys, so I wanted you to see what it looks like when all this subfloor has been put down. It's getting ready for the wire, and then they'll prep that. We'll be tiling here real soon, but this is how you make your way into their big massive shower. Like I said, it's kind of the shape of a C, so they have built this big shower pan, and it's got a slight slope to it, to the drain and we've got the Duroc on, it's all been prepped. You can see already the plumbers have come, set the drain to the right height so these guys can slope everything to it. So a little bit of slope goes a long way. We don't want it real steep. So they've, I'm walking on it now and it feels good. I'm excited, I can't wait to see how this all comes together and you guys will see the whole process. Okay, I'll let those guys keep working. Let me take you outside. We have access, remember, right off the master bedroom to the deck and uh, we don't have the hardware on yet, but. The deck rails are now on. This really finishes it off. It looks great. Now it's also very safe for people to come out here. When they do install, we don't really run into the stone. There's a code. We, as long as we have a minimum, a maximum of four inches between here, it meets code. So there's no need for this to get into the side of the uh, stone. That is uninterrupted, keeps it looking nice. What's nice about this railing, it's a true custom rail. It is a pre-finished railing, it's aluminum, but what's nice is the guys come out and they take the product out of the box and then they measure everything precisely so that it fits exactly where it needs to be. So these railings are a step-by-step -step process. It's a custom-made product that is fit specifically for this job. So we have it on this deck and then we also have it on the other deck, which is going to be a screened in patio. Let me show you how we did that. I'm going now from master bedroom door. Now I'm coming into the kitchen with the slider. And now we're into the dining area, which then leads over to the covered porch. The screen, this is also a to be screened in covered porch. They're all covered. So 
having this deck, what I wanted them to do is position it such because I want to put those phantom screens. Remember, it's going to be, if I can get Andrew to do it, I'm pretty sure he will. It's called, uh, it's like a basically like a garage door, but it's a screen. You hit a button and the whole thing comes down. It can stop at different levels. It also creates shade. It blocks wind. I wanted to put it on such, if I can just get it on the outside, this little track. So I'm going to have to meet up with my uh, screen guy to make sure where we need to put this track. I wanted to move this in a little closer, but I have right here on the floor, you can see this is the gas line, which when they bring their patio uh, outdoor grill out, it'll just hook right into their propane tank. They'll never have to run to the store again. So no more filling up propane tanks, no more running out of gas right in the middle of cooking a steak. It's already built in and uh, you're good to go. Now you gotta remember to turn the grill off versus shutting the gas off. All right, so that about wraps up things here for today. Uh, I'll bring you guys back up to speed tomorrow when I come back and check up on the towel guy. So stay tuned. Okay, so it's the next day. I want to check up on the progress on how the tile guys went and uh, check on the progress with the drywall. So we want to get this thing moving to the trim stage and start priming the walls. So let's see how far we got. All right, so coming into the master bedroom area, I want to check on the master floor, which they should have all done. It's looking great. I can see it. They have already finished all the floors and we did kind of a staggered pattern. There's different options you can choose from. And remember, this whole floor has all been heated. So as I come in here, this is where we got to put that 600 pound tub, but I'm going to wait till they grout the floor because once I set that thing in place, we don't want to move it around at all. So check this out. Here's the master shower. The floor is the same. It's on the walls of the shower, but they did do a different pattern on the floor. It's kind of a st pebble stone. Actually, it feels great on your feet. And you can see this right here. We got it covered up because it's pretty delicate right now and they're still working around the corner finishing up the niches but there's a new product that's out this is called the schluter edge schluter edge say that fast three times so in the old days we would take this tile and look for a bull nose so the tile would have a curve to it there's not a lot of tiles that have that anymore and this is a much cleaner look so they put this metal piece snap that on there like that and then they tile right behind it. This tile goes up against it, holds it in place, and look at this nice clean line. There's various colors. This is a, a tan, there's silver, there's black, but that is a nice clean finished look and people really like that. So on the shower, there's still a few things they gotta finish. They got to finish the ceiling tile and we'll come around the corner here and I'll show you how big this is. We still have to put the seat on and here are those niches that we laid out with uh, Macy a while back for your shampoo bottles. Then they'll put bars of soap, razors, different things. So this is really a very impressive large shower. And we even have a window in here and that will also all be tiled. That is a clad window. Some windows are made out of wood. You do not want that in your shower. This is a window throughout the entire house has a clad frame. So it's moisture resistant. So we'll be in good shape long term. As they get the humidity and heat and stuff in here, it's not gonna ruin that window. So this is looking really good. The heated floors are in, that is something they're really going to enjoy. And here's the thermostat for it. All the wiring right here coming out of the wall, that will definitely all be hidden behind the door. The wires will be gone, but we set that up. The electrician will take it from there. I hear the towel guys working on the other part of the house. Let's go see what they're working on. All right, so I'm in the kid's shared bathroom on the main floor. And this bathroom has a really interesting tile pattern that Macy and uh, Lisa have picked out. So Jorge's down here. Look, check out this pattern that he's got to lay out. Where he's laying out this tile right now is right on top of the cabinet. So sometimes, I don't know, I have to look and see on the cabinets here. Oh, they go all the way to the floor. 
he may not have to go that far, but. So I just checked on Jorge's work and he's just getting started. I wanna make his Jorge job easier because the tiles do not need to go all the way up against the wall because there's gonna be 20 inches of cabinets. So I'm gonna use my phone and translate to him so he can speed up and not use tiles that's unnecessary because he's doing a great job. Let me see. You do not need to put tile against the wall leave approximately 10 inches out because the cabinets will cover. So let's see if I can translate this for him. He's talking to his boss right now and uh, we've been talking back and forth. So here you go. Do you, okay. Does that make? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, good. See. Uh, uh, see. So I, mean, I don't have my marker. Maybe. No, no, don't. Maybe. Ocho. Or maybe with your hand right here. So that way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see. Okay. So no. No, no mas tile. No, no tile. No tile. tile. See. Si. Yeah. So that way you can. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. If you want, you can yeah. take those off and start. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. okay. Thank you. Comprende? Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I think we uh, figured that one out. That would uh, make his job a little easier. We save on some tile. If they're here working. No sense in putting stuff on the floor that gets covered up with cabinets. So a little save of the day, and I hope I made his job a little easier. Okay guys, I'm real happy the way things are working out here. The drywall is just about to the last final stages. We probably need this one more week of taping. The tile guys should be wrapping up here this week. So next week, in a week and a half from now, we will be moving into, which my favorite stage is the trim stage, when we're cabinets, doors, all that stuff starts coming in, it will start looking like a house. So I know you guys are watching this on Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all you and your family. Hope it's safe. And I'm Brad the Builder and I'll see you real soon.